John F. Kennedy was assassinated November 22, 1963. Gary Shaw, author of the book Cover Up, examines the evidence concerning the John Kennedy assassination tonight on Alternative Views. The following film footage was compiled by Robert Groden, a well-known critic of the Warren Commission report. This shows the Kennedy limousine as it is going down Main Street in Dallas. Now the presidential car is making the turn onto Houston Street. The president is seated in the rear of the car on the right. Governor Conley is sitting directly in front of the president. The limousine will be making the turn onto Elm Street shortly. This is the famous Abraham Zapruder film of the Kennedy assassination. As the president's limousine emerges from behind the sign, it's obvious he has been struck by a bullet. He slumps forward and then the fatal headshot. Now here is blow-ups of just the president in the Zapruder film. Again, as he passes the sign, he's obviously been hit and then the fatal headshot. The president's reaction to the headshot can be seen more clearly with these enlargements. Notice that as the president is struck by the fatal headshot, his body is driven violently backwards. Well, let's look at another piece of evidence that they, um, they ignored. And the bullet, this is the same bullet that supposedly went through uh, John F. Kennedy, the seat, after making its miraculous 90-degree turns. It also went through John Connolly and came out through his wrist and into his thigh, was it, or hit his thigh? That's correct. This has been termed a, the famous miracle bullet. Uh, this is a copper-clad uh, lead core uh, bullet. This one is the one that uh, the Warren Commission said went through President Kennedy from the back, exited his throat, uh, went from there, uh, and because of the Zapruder film, we can tell when John, John Connolly was wounded. Uh, so the bullet had to pause about a second and a half to, to three seconds, uh, depending on when you want to say he was hit. He was definitely not hit at the same time. Right, the president. That's, our, that's our smart bullet. So we've got a delay, plus it has to make a uh, right turn downward and then a left turn to enter the, the governor uh, just below the right shoulder blade. It goes through his chest, blasts out four inches of his fifth rib, exits his chest, uh, goes through his right wrist, uh, blasts out the main bone of his right wrist, exits, exits again, and penetrates his left thigh, where it works itself free, wipes itself off of any blood and tissue, <laughs> uh, crawls over onto another stretcher, totally independent of either of the two uh, victims that day, and uh, becomes the link to Oswald's Mannlicher Carcano rifle. Maybe, maybe well, this bullet came from outer space. Right. That's right. You have some pictures of bullets in your book, don't you, that we can use for a comparison to, yeah. to the Wonder Bullet? And these are bleeding bullets uh, that were fired through a, a cadaver and also in a, a goat. And it's the okay, this is the bullet that I just showed you. This is another uh, photograph of it. This is a bullet of the same caliber, fi fired from the same rifle, and fired into the wrist only of a cadaver. And you can see the mutilated point. Uh, this other is, a, is one bullet. It, it came into two pieces. It was fired through the, ri the rib of a goat. And so you can see what actually happens to this type of bullet when it comes in contact with a human being. This is the single most damning piece of evidence, is it not? That's right. This will not go away. This will not get buried. You can't, you can't, you know, snuff it out like they've done with so many people involved with this thing. In fact, the Warren Commission counsel said that to say that Governor Connolly and John Kennedy were not hit by the same bullet, this miracle bullet, is synonymous with saying that there was another assassin firing that day. And that's my contention. The overwhelming evidence is that there were more than one rifleman in Dealey Plaza that day. Okay, let's go back 25 years and uh, see real quickly the president and, and Mrs. Kennedy as they are departing the Texas Hotel in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. This is on the morning of November 22, 1963. And the president had just made a speech at a breakfast there for the Chamber of Commerce and uh, he's getting in the limousine. Here we see them, they, they took off from uh, Carswell Air Force Base in Fort Worth, flew directly to Love Field in Dallas, which was, they just got into the air and, and right back down. They depart and uh, open limousine through the streets of downtown Dallas. As you can see in this photograph, Governor and Mrs. Connolly are in the jump seat 
and uh, the president and Mrs. Kennedy are in the rear of the automobile. The two, two Secret Service men are in the front seat. They uh, had about an hour, hour and a half drive through the streets of downtown Dallas. You'll see that uh, just to the western end of the downtown portion of Dallas was a beautiful park-like area named for uh, uh, Mr. Joseph Dealey, called Dealey Plaza. In this little area, uh, you can see the old Dallas County Courthouse in the lower right-hand corner. Just above it is the, is the Dallas Criminal Courts Building and Sheriff's Department. The uh, street running straight up and down is the uh, Houston Street. The one running vertically across the screen is, is Main Street. The motorcade came down Main Street to the Red Courthouse, to the Criminal Courts Building, and then turned directly up on your screen, north in actual direction, and we're heading directly toward the Texas School Book Depository, which you can see in the upper portion of this particular slide. Elm Street is that curving street that you see come down in front of the, the school book depository and disappear over onto the left-hand side of the screen along with the other two streets under a railroad overpass. The area just uh, to the left of the Texas school book depository is a, a parking lot, railroad yards, and just in front of that is the infamous Grassy Knoll, mm -hmm. uh, the place where Many of the witnesses said the assassin shots were actually fired. And so while we're on this photograph, let me just point out two or three things. This was taken approximately from the roof of, a ter of the Terminal Annex building overlooking Dealey Plaza. We'll talk about an important witness that was here. Uh, the little triangular place, uh, piece of grass area that you see between Main Street and Elm Street uh, there were several eyewitnesses in that area. There were several witnesses on the overpass that we'll talk about. And we'll talk about that area and the railroad tower and the railroad yards just above the grassy knoll and to the left of the Texas School Book Depository. But that just kind of shows you real quickly the scene of the president's shooting there in Dallas, 25 years. It shows the uh, presidential limousine making that turn off of Main Street onto Houston, going now directly north, directly toward the school book depository. The dark arrow you see points to the vice president, Lyndon Johnson, who is also in the motorcade, just a couple of cars behind the president, which is very, very unusual, and in fact against regulations for the vice president and the president to be this near together uh, and uh, so open to uh, assassination. So he was very, very much in a position to see everything that happened, and uh, that raises another question. Next slide shows the, um, the nearness of the Secret Service follow-up car to the presidential limousine, which is directly in front of it. Secret Service personnel are on the, the running board. There's eight of them in that follow-up car, and they're right on the bumper of the presidential limousine. As it approaches, the Texas School Book Depository. One of the questions you have to ask, this is probably the easiest shot from that sixth floor school book window. Right there at that right location. Here at this location, because the president is moving directly toward that window and is a perfect shot from that sixth floor, yet he did not take it. This slide shows the president as he turns directly in front of the school book depository. He's brushing his hair out of his eyes as he usually did. And it's only a split second later that the president is, is uh, you can see him waving at the crowd. This is from the opposite view and is actually a slide from the famous Abraham Zapruder, Zapruder mm -hmm. film. And the president is waving to the crowd. He's uninjured at this particular time. He's about to disappear behind a, a road sign that uh, comes between Zapruder's camera and the presidential limousine, and you'll see that happen. The president was shot at that time. Very soon thereafter, within the hour, a fellow by the name of Lee Harvey Oswald was arrested. Be sure to watch the next alternative views.